Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Anandari and if you are a tiny subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Following guys, I want to talk about the upcoming general elections and tell you a little bit of a story that we went through when um, there were there were post election violence in 2007. We were in Kitui at the time, so uh, as you know, uh, the only places that were much affected were, I think, Nairobi, Kisumu, and I think the major cities of in Kenya. So my mom just came for us in Kitui, where we were with our household, and she took us to another our neighboring country, we taken to the border, and then travel to Tanzania where we had a good time for the first I think uh, two months two to three months and then after that <laughs> we were taken to some um, refugee camps so you can imagine we enjoyed life from Dar es Salaam to Arusha to I don't know where to Moshi we enjoyed life we were like there was we were like a bus full of Kenyans so we, we, we really enjoyed life there and after that we didn't know where we were going so we went for we went to the camps where we looked like refugees where there was only Kenyans there where people were looking at us and we were like oh so these are Kenyans who have run away from their country because of the violence post election violence so uh, it was like that so this video is about telling you guys to be uh, to be sensitive just be sensitive if a leader comes to you and tells you you know what please do this and that for me and i'll pay you something i'll give you something small can you imagine the person that you're going to do the same the evil things to is like your sister is like your dad that person is like your brother that person is literally your family because we are all kenyans we are all brothers and sisters we are all everything. We are family. As Kenyans, I take everyone um, that I see on the on the road as my brother and sister. If I see an old man on the road, he's like my grandpa. If I see someone who can be my mom, I see that person as my mom. I see that person as my dad. I see that person. I see a young person as my sister, as my brother. So imagine someone paying you some money in order to kill that person in order to beat up that person because of things that aren't don't even make sense so before someone pays you money to go and do something illegal to go and do something bad to someone else just think about your humanity ask yourself where is my humanity ask yourself what if my brother what if my mom, what if my sister, what if my cousin, what if my child was done the same way that I'm going to do this to someone else? What if my what if someone else did this to some to the people that I love? Just think about your humanity first before doing anything that will harm your conscience, before doing something that will harm someone else. So please always think about that. These leaders, they will pay you off. And then what else? They won't bring anything to your table after they win. That's fast. They won't even know your name after they win. That's second. They won't even remember. If they meet you on the road, they won't even recognize who you are. Because the person has already gotten whatever they, he or she wants. So just think about that. Don't let um, whatever happened in 2007 happen again. Because many people have lost their lives. When we came back to Kenya, we came back to Kenya, I think six, six, I'm not very sure, I was very, very young. We came back to Kenya. Um, I think we stayed in Tanzania for quite some time. So coming up, coming back home, obviously we couldn't find everything that was, were ours. We came back home and found our house wasn't our house anymore. Everything in our house was gone. Imagine you've worked hard for something and then when you have, you've really worked hard for the things that you have in your name and then all of a sudden they're all gone. Where do you start from? Just imagine that. So before doing something to someone else, just think about your humanity first. Think about your conscience first. 
think about the regret that you're going to have later think about the karma that that is going to follow you so let's say no to post election violence let's say no to hurting someone else just because of a leader let's say no to being to being harmful to your fellow citizens because we are all Kenyans and this is our country no matter who gets that seat it is still our country so go and vote for that leader that you want and whoever wins well and good whoever loses then they are lost because that's life we can't win and we can't we can't always win in everything please just let peace reign let peace win whoever wins it's their it's their victory whoever loses loses it's their loss and then life continues because i can't say there's going to be any major change just let peace reign so that's what i wanted to say guys and i hope someone here learns this because um this is our country this is our home there's no home other than kenya and this is where we were born this is where we will die and this is where we'll be buried unless you go somewhere else so this is our home and please just take care of your homeland and have a peaceful elections and whoever wins as i said it's their victory don't let these leaders pay you to do harm to others so thank you so much for watching and i hope you learned something from this and goodbye please remember to be kind and smile more